Do you mind if I search you? Oh my God. No? Do you have anything <laughs> illegal in, in your vehicle? Never be too, never be too careful. We should search it. <laughs> There's a protest today against Bishop Tobin because he said that Catholics or anybody shouldn't uh, uh, participate in the Pride Month in the, the parade and anything that has to do with uh, gay pride. But it's ironic because Bishop Tobin's been covering up abuse of children rape uh, for many, many years. Not because of his freedom of speech. Yesterday, uh, just really hit home with a lot of people in a, in, a, in a negative way, and I think it was really important for us to come together as a community uh, to stand in solidarity uh, and bring pride directly here uh, to Cathedral Square to spread a message of love and unity. No, I think that's good. Okay, my ISP is They're in the Bruins, but they have 3205 and 7401. Good to see you again today. Hey, see you all the time. In a different role, though. Uh, whatever. Um, so tonight we're responding to a really hateful tweet by Bishop Tobin um, that really sends the wrong message about what pride is and what it means to this community. So why not bring pride right to the front doorstep of Bishop Tobin? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, sure. sure. So you it's really not a tweet that we're going to say pride. I mean, I was, I was really upset. We had just finished up a really wonderful celebration um, I, I mean, I of Black Lives Matter in City um, Hall. I see like about, you know, it's not like for the production story time and all that. Means me personally, I never had that. So um, I actually did an event called Up Here Around You, where it was a lot of people who played toddlers. I performed yeah. a Moana song. Yeah. You know, it was super cute. And, um, it was a certain sexual orientation you know, uh, to have such a powerful institution. Sir, the big battle was like, I was in a bump of the people way. So, like, oh my God, so yeah, just specifically, yeah. so there's a bunch of Bishop Tobin's accounts in such a way. Like, you know, yeah. 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 Have you had a chance to see so, his new statement that I mean, he sent out today? With the apology yeah, statement? Like, yeah, where he said you know, he regrets the controversy that this has caused and that it may have been offensive to some. What was your reaction to that? Uh, I, I didn't find it genuine at all. He said that he's sorry that uh, <laughs> he took no personal responsibility for he needs to take ownership of the impact of his words and how it has negatively impacts his Anything else you want to add to that? Thank you so much, Matt. Appreciate it. Very upper middle class, white. Right, right, right.
<laughs> Just, you know, crossing over to the top of the eye. Joe, you know, if there's any question, I'm going to go right to you because I'm going to come and kind of put you as like the, you're the president and everything. Good to see you. Good to see you. You know, so all right. Good. Good. Great. Have a great day. Alright. No problem. Hey guys. How are you doing? Good, good. 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 Officer, can you, can, you, can you tell us why is there so much police presence right now? I don't know. I really don't. You don't know? I don't know. I, I mean, I know there's a protest, but are you guys expecting any, any type of violence or something? No? What do you think about the, um, the whole situation with the bishop, uh, his comments towards the gay... Um, I believe he, he has some negative comments to say about the gay community. Still First Amendment protected, yep. you know? Yes, sir. What do you think? About what? About um, his negative comments. It's freedom of speech. It's freedom of speech, correct. That's the, that's the right answer. <laughs> Do you have anything on you that, that we should know about? We have First Amendment auditing you. Where'd you get those tattoos, officer? Where'd you get those tattoos? I have some questions for you. Where'd you get those tattoos? <laughs> they look nice. Okay, where'd you get them? On uh, Eddie Street. Eddie Street, oh yeah? By AJ. All right. Well, good for you. Well, still, you should be nice. You know, that, that tattoo All right, well, we got to the bottom of that. Views. So, this is going on Facebook. <laughs> Facebook officers, they're not even looking out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> just right, I need to know where all my just cameras are. Where's okay. camera one? Now, is this is camera one? Yeah, yeah, camera one. one. Okay. Right. Two, okay. Feel free to go on my YouTube channel, look at my videos to get suspects, because I know you guys do that. Do you guys have anything? <laughs> in do you do you mind if I search you? Oh my God! No. Do you have anything <laughs> illegal in in your vehicle? Never be too, Alex, never too careful. Pretty pretty we should search it. You didn't like it every day before the shift. I did like it. You do. I know. Yeah. Gotta put away that toy gun to lay on people. Do you hear like like eight cops in Baltimore were just arrested for that? That's good. That's good. Uh, which one want to be the the thumbnail? You know what thumbnail is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think those two over there actually. These these two? I don't know. Are you sending me to Are you sending me to the one that can crack my skull? Nah, he looks like Remy Malik, you know, from uh, Mr. Robot, Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. We'll make sure we we get him on video too. Officer, I've heard that the Eddie Street tattoo is the most corrupt tattoo place. Is that true? Is that why you went there? Not true. What is your name, officer? What is your badge number? Three eight five Rolling. What? Rolling three eight five. All right. Did, How much did you pay for those tattoos? Was it about, a lot? Uh, Greg Hart. Did they ever tell you about that? Joe was interrupting you. Familiar? No, no, no. You feel with the? Um, it used to be called the Red Room. Then they was called Saints and Sinners. 
No? No. Yeah. It was owned by a former uh, uh, detective in the police department. And a kid, uh, Greg Hart, he was uh, murdered after le like leaving that bar. Found him on the side of a river and everything. Everything was tampered with. He was obviously beaten up. They said he drowned, no, but he never drowned. Come up with questions for but it, uh, it's the easy. person who investigated the whole uh, uh, death was the same guy that owned the bar. So I mean, I, don't know I got I got a good question for you. How many corrupted police officers have you arrested? None. I've never had an officer tell me, okay, I I arrested one. At least. We know there's all good people okay, and bad people, you know? You? Who hired me or fired me? Either one. Oh. <laughs> I don't I like I you because I'm you're dangerous. I think I'm employed at this point, so. Okay. <laughs> so far. Would well, you consider, so far. you don't consider yourself a dangerous guy, do you? Was it below the hard deck? That's my question for you, officer. I'm sorry? Was it below the hard deck? Uh, I'm not sure I quite understand the question. It's Top Gun. Does yeah, nobody understand it. my references ever yeah, at any Gun's, time? Top Gun's trash. Right? Yeah, okay. I Top I Gun's get, trash. The well, then what is the best Tom it's... Cruise movie, officer? If best you know. Tough. And I bet you say. don't know, do you? I bet you don't know. It's got to be The Last Samurai. <laughs> Damn, that's a good Ken answer, officer. Tanabe. That is a good answer. We're going to have it there. Good answer. Great answer. The Last Samurai is a great answer. Thank you, gentlemen. Thanks for coming out tonight. Appreciate it. Hello. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming. All right. Just holding people accountable. All right, absolutely, 100%. All right. You guys got your march orders? Let's have a great day. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate All right. It. Thank you. Hey, how are you? He's just no, he did not. 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 The Last Samurai is not the best Tom Cruise movie. You disagree with the weather officer? No, would you? No, would you? I said it was... Could you give me a little space, though? I really appreciate that. I'll back that. it was... Could you give me a little space, though? I really appreciate that. I'll back it. Okay, so which is it? So which is it? I appreciate that. So which is it, officer? I'm trying to... Which is it? Thank you Is it the Last Samurai or is it not? Thank you. Have a great day. Have a great day. How you doing, number six? All right. Thanks. Good to see you. Good to see you. I just got I just got the the letter in the mail from from you guys. Cap Captain Saint Lucas did nothing wrong. What do you think of that? What was that? What was that? You did nothing wrong. What? Yeah. Is it? But but it's but it's 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 crazy because you just said that he wasn't giving you your space. And that wasn't the right thing to do, according to you. But Captain San Lucas run around me in circles like four times. And you guys investigated the, yourselves and found no wrongdoing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Not a Richard Tom Cruise fan, that's the problem. Jared has got his name tag on there. He's also part of the parade. And uh, I'll bring Joe over here, too. So. Yeah. Damn, damn. What is this? Excuse me. Yes. Um, can you tell us what was the negative comments that the the bishop said about the gay community? Um, so he said a reminder to Catholics not to attend any Pride events in June um, because it is harmful to children and it goes directly against the teachings of the church. Okay, and that's why you guys are here protesting? Yes. Okay, that's great. Um, police didn't say anything to you guys about the chalk? No. No? no? That's good. Yeah, it's freedom of speech, but yeah, sometimes... You don't have to speak to them if you don't want to. You know that, right? Oh, well, yeah, we're in America. Everybody knows yeah, whatever that. You want. But let me tell you something. I have more subscribers in my channel than any of these news people right now. So just look it up. This is the camera that you need to be talking to if you wanted to talk to and deliver a message. Thank you so much for, for your time. No, somebody told him something negative about us. And, really? and he came and said, you don't have to speak to him. What do you say negative? Give them marching orders I, I, where they go? I told him, well, you know, that's... We're in America. You don't have to speak to anybody if you don't want to. I guess to. there's a chain of command. Let's find the chain of command if there's like people giving orders around. Yep. Hey, Joe.
I'm sorry? You guys are protesting, right? So. How you guys doing? Good evening. How you been? Good, good. Is there more people than you expected or what? Uh, really was unaware this was happening. Yeah, me neither. Good turnout. Yeah, it's good. Every, everybody's, you know, peaceful. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. Freedom of speech on both sides. Yes, sir. So, we support everybody here. Did you guys see the East Providence police officer that elbowed a woman in the face the other day? Oh, you might want to look it up online, man. That's that shit was crazy. She wasn't even resistant. He elbowed her in the face. having a baby oh no she's just little she's just got a little gut Oh, my God. 
punch yourself back. Okay. He's going to turn around and pull up. Yes, eventually he is. Yeah, we don't want to. at our wedding at your church. Uh, who was your predecessor there? My predecessor there was Tim Hart. Is that who Brown? No. Julia Frederick? No, Tim I would say. Yeah. yeah. Uh, five years, six years. Yeah. yeah, we only met at one. Yeah. yeah. So I've been there four years in August. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It is a great marriage. There's a lot of good people. Yes. Are you folks Providence folks? Providence Grace. Okay, no worries. Oh, great. Yes. Yeah. That's a lot of Fake news. Hey, Kenny, you should give it to her. Hey, I have, I have something for you. She says it's all right. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, fake news. No, but it's really the real news. Let's just be clear. This is the real news happening. Let's just not get yep, ourselves. Yep.
Fuck it, man. So what is it that you think? I'm ready to Hunter, I just turned in a ring of them to the FBI last week. Oh, sir. bullshit. Sir, Goodbye. Oh, bullshit. That's a very valid point. You're a fucking liar. Okay, so People as we were saying, there are considered more trustworthy, and I can tell you're serious, and I consider you, your point valid. You're fucking right, I am. Do you know the name Andrew Vox? Uh, Do you know the name Andrew Vox? I can't think of any more. Right. And then you don't know anything about child endangerment. You don't know anything Are about. You're aware of the, the uh, recent ring of child traffickers that had infested this diocese. As a matter of fact, I am. Okay, yes. so. Do you know, and uh, I know who, that who, who's protecting Pope sheltered I don't, them. I don't mean he, to he. pull you closer, tiny dancer. I think, I think they may be extorting him. We'll get to the bottom of it. I'm working very closely with the U.S. attorneys right? in this district and with the FBI in this district and several others. Yeah, well, the day We're that piece of crap is in jail getting buggered to death by a, by a 300-pound Hell's Angel will be a good day for the world. The Can't keep you in the penthouse. I beg your pardon? Just, never mind, okay? Just... Thank you. Thank you, everybody. God bless you. I don't mind me. Hey, thank you. Man, it's not, it's not, it's thank you for taking over. the time to express that to me. Uh, the entire like that, uh, the bread with the collar. Well, it's a brand new. It's a brand new look. What's I'm, your? I'm a universalist. Okay. Thank you. So, what's some, some, some sympathies towards Catholic theology? This freak. This freak, however, loves you. Bishop Tobin loves you. Bishop Tobin loves. This is what Bishop Tobin loves. Oh, yeah, Tobin. Hey, what church are you with? I'm a universal. I'm a universalist, pig. And don't get any closer. This is what Bishop Tobin loves. Okay. This is what he makes love to That's every night. That's another issue. There's the matter of the pensions. And the it's all problem. about money. That's another issue. What? All about money. It's not for all me about money. That's for the U.S. Nobody cares. Jury. Everybody's adoring him. So jury. shut up. A, a judge and a jury. Oh well. well so, the receiver in the so thank you. Now, you. pension um, case. Now, what do you think about uh, Bishop Tobin knowing? about the abuse for so many years and not saying it. Ah, the particular place he occupied in the Catholic Church hierarchy in Pennsylvania was not one that was to report. There was somebody above him who may or may not have been supposed to report, but he was actually forbidden from doing I, so. I guess that's fair, but at the same time, I think it would be like really good for the world for him to come out with this and, and really get it spread really quick if there's abuse. That's how I look at it. He said that at the time he wasn't authorized to release that information. Right, I understand so that. There may have been someone else who should have. What I'm concerned about is much more recent child trafficking rings that have infested or touched the church. Much more recent, like certainly within the past 10 years, maybe within the past three years, yeah. maybe, at least, maybe currently there was a major child trafficking ring in the church that wasn't properly investigated. That's a bigger concern. I don't see anything yet that implicates Bishop Tobin Although there are some other personnel, I mean, that's fair. But like, I, I just look at it as like the uh, their position in the church and the knowing is like no excuse. That's how I look at it. But I understand there's a process, but I don't agree with the process. You know, it's the like the process has changed. It was bad. Yeah, he would have been defrocked had he released that information at the time. Um, and if. I know of child abuse, and it's going to cost me my status as clergy to tell. I'm telling. That's my job. I'm pretty sure it's the law. If somebody confesses to me a murder of an adult, I don't have to tell the police about that. If somebody confesses that they hurt a child, I will go right to the police. Well, I never, I, I never, I never said go to the police. <laughs> I'm saying it. It should be public. But unfortunately, the public is the police's ear as well. And just like if we take video and something happens here tonight, we post a video online, they can go back and look at, you know, who did the crime by looking at our video. God bless you guys for what you do, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. Very important. Look, we got the cameras. The camera right on us, though? Yeah, he was right on us. You have to. Oh, I speak at like this. Oh, God, okay. Uh, okay, let Sabina go. Let me gather my thoughts.
women's rights or attack on chan rights. This is a mayor who stands with us side by side, shoulder to shoulder, when we need elected leaders to use their voice for good. So give it up for the mayor of the city of Providence, Jorge Luis. Good evening, everybody. And, we're, and while we're on the topic of love, please make some noise. If you love yourself, some Joe Lazzarini. We love you, Joe. And I think, I think Joe captured the message as beautifully as anybody could. What brings us together is love. We're living in a moment right now where there are so many people that are trying to seed division in our community. What we saw from Bishop Tobin is a symptom of something much greater and much deeper, much more sinister that we have to continue to root out from our community. And believe it, it is spreading. And so what's the solution? The solution is this right here, what we're seeing in front of us right now. All of us coming together in unity, looking out for one another and saying that love will conquer all animosity, all hatred and all division that will try to come between us in this city. And so I want to thank every single person here from the LGBTQIA plus community to all of our allies, because we are standing together in the face of hate. And what's particularly, particularly, really meaningful for me here today is Omar wanted to be with us to, to share this message of love as a family. His t-shirt says love, pride, family.
and he wants the world to know that he supports everyone, including his queer aunt, who we love so dearly. We love you, Tia Jenny. And so I look forward to seeing everybody here to come out and show just what an amazing, amazing community we all are in a couple of weeks celebrating the best Pride Festival in all of New England, if not further. And as Joe mentioned, you know, standing up for one vulnerable group, one group that's being attacked, isn't enough. We really all need to come together and stand up for each other. And I want to invite you all to something really, really special that's going to happen next week. So as many of you know, next week is PVD Fest. Come for all of PVD Fest because it's awesome. But at 1.30 in Burnside Park during PVD Fest, we're going to have over a dozen people taking the oath to become United States citizens. And I ask everybody here in the community to be there to support them and let them know we love them as well. Thank you all so much, everybody. Thank you, Give it up for Mayor Lorzo. Uh, next, I'd like to bring up Council President Sabina Mato. Thank you, Yo. I just want to say that uh, someone what's happening. <laughs> that, that, that's serious. That's serious. <laughs> hey. Love is love. Except for when it's little kids, sorry. It just doesn't work like that. <laughs> That's right. I think there's a, there's a bigger pressing matter than what he made comments about. And the pressing matter is him uh, covering up child sex abuse for many, many years. Yeah, and what else? That's perfect. Child life. sex abuse. That's what they should be protesting right now. But they never did protest him for that because they support him. They never came here to protest about his sex, the sex abuse going on in the Catholic Church. But they're here today protesting because he made anti-gay comments. Even though the church has been acting gay with children for a long time. So, love is love. They didn't come to protest that. They're making the word love sound bad. <laughs> For real. You get a lot of hate cuts. Yo, somebody could get seriously injured here. Right, there's just be glass right here. Mm -hmm. Huh? We're ready?
Why, why was that guy uh, against what you were saying? What, I think he's a knee-jerk liberal, and he just can't help it. Every time he hears something, he's not going to listen to the facts. He's not going to listen to the philosophies. His mind's made up already. Like talking to a wall. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't support the bishop in all things, but I support him in this thing. He's not sinless. Neither am I. I'm a sinner. If one has to be sinless to be a clergy, there wouldn't be very many clergy. Yep, yep. Thank you. God bless you for what you do. Thank you, thank you. Whoa! I heard you bought all the land around the power plant. Is that true? You didn't buy all the land around the power plant? No, no, no. Paul was telling you, through the organization, you bought all the land around the power plant, right? He bought all the land around it? Yes, he did. Oh, man, you got a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, they, they got a well, lot you... of money for doing No, it didn't do anything. The power, see all the advertising on all the buses and everything? That's a lot of money. So do you support him? No, no, because he wants to take money from me to uh, push these agendas, which actually, it costs the taxpayers a lot of money. And it, we have to work more, which ends up using more resources and more time, more fuel. So. Donate, donate some of that money, man. Hey, who is he again? Uh, Paul Roselli. What does he do? He's the uh, the head or some sort of the um, the power plant uh, protest group. So, yeah. Mayor, have you heard about First Amendment audits in the Providence Police Department? Do you have anything to say about those? First Amendment audits? Hey, hey, Mayor. hey Mayor, how are you? Hey! hey how are you? Uh -huh. Good, thanks. How you doing, Mr. Perry? I'm well, how are you? All right. The mayor has nothing to say about First Amendment audits in the city of Providence. I don't think he supports it very much. That's what I heard too. Well, I heard the police union rep say that they're having difficulty recruiting uh, police officers because they're afraid to be on social media. He just said on the news like, yeah. yesterday. It's quiet as a mouse. What do, you, what do you think about that, Mr. Perry? <laughs> we never have, Mr. We never have problems recruiting police officers. Well. Your, your union representative said so. Are you disagreeing with your union rep? Yes, I am. Okay. Whoa. That's a first. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. You know, he doesn't have to agree to... No, he doesn't. That's good. It's a, it's a big man going against the union, which is thank you. Thank you for that. Because the, that awesome. the police yeah, bill of rights is atrocious. Yeah, Mayor Lorza, do you, uh, what do you think about the First Amendment audits? I tried contacting uh, Margaret to make an appointment with you about last time we, about what we talked last time, yeah. but I never, I couldn't get a call back from her. Should I call again and try to get a, an appointment with you? I, I'd like to sit down and talk about that that memo that was released. Like I said, I've never sent any threats to the police department. Um, I would never do such thing. It's a little bit on call for it, you know? I'm just video tip. Hey, this is a very important guy right here. Hi, okay. Excuse me. Oh, I know he's an important guy, right? <laughs> if you want some privacy, you have to create it. This is not, it's not a private office. You're in public. He gets paid a lot of money from our, from, from our pocket, so. 
one of the one of the highest paid guys. He's the he's the top guy for the Providence Police Department. He's the commissioner. Oh, yes, he's he's quite uh, up there. <laughs> yeah, he's quite up there. That's Harry, right? Yep. Oh, you don't know who we are? We don't. Oh, where have you been? He just looks so beautiful. He looks so beautiful. We can't That's a good looking man right there, though. Look. But you're not going to take a picture of him? You have, oh, you have to go to the evidence room first. Right. No, I'm just kidding. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What was that recipe with brownies that you told me about? So you, you let the batter well, sit for you have, you have to go to the evidence room first. No, I'm just kidding. No, 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 I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's still only a 4.9, just to be clear. He's only a 4.9. Don't let him fool you. It's still, it's still something. Oh, yeah. I won again. I won another one. I had 14 wins in a row. Congrats. You guys don't take my money from it. Isn't it like on those Spanish soap operas, though, where it's like you can just kind of fill in the blanks, like it's sort of like the closed captioning? I don't mean to be inappropriate, but it's just like... No, I must not. He's giving it her... Is forbidden. He's giving her the recipe for the special brownie. Is that really? <laughs> That's what she said. I said, well, you go to the evidence room first. <laughs> It's the first step of the, of the brownie making recipe. You can't bite your master. <laughs> Here we go. I feel like it's starting to rub off on me. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Take care, guys. Have a good night. <laughs> 